What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 16 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. So this question has a lot of information and a lot of words, but essentially, a statistician used these x values and these y values to do some linear regression, and he decided to take out one of the points, and taking out that one point made the new linear model a much better fit than the old one. And we're trying to figure out what data point the statistician excluded, took out. Now the big question that, or the big skill that this is testing you on is linear regression, and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to um, go over how to do one of these on your TI calculator. So let me go ahead and move this closer because we don't need the answer choices yet. Alright, now if you look at these three bullet points, all of this is just a fancy way of asking the question, which point doesn't belong? If I were to put these points in, which one would be furthest off the line made by the other points? And so we're gonna use linear regression to actually go ahead and test that. So here's my TI calculator, and in order to type in this data, I go to stat, and I press enter to go to the edit menu. Now I've actually already put this data in, um, I went ahead and used list 1 to type all my x values and list 2 to type all my y values. And so the next thing I need to do is actually we can do this a numbers way or we can do it a graphing way. And in order to do it the graphing way, I'm going to look above y equals where it says stat plot. I'll press second stat plot. And now I want to turn plot 1. First off, it needs to be on. And when I go to type, it should be this thing with all the dots. Now that essentially means that it's going to graph the points that I give it from this menu, where each row it's gonna read as an X value and a Y value. So now I need to figure out how to zoom it. Um, this is the command that I wanna use, zoom stat. Because if I went ahead and did Z standard, which is what you do to get it back to the original data, I can't see anything. But if I press zoom again and go to zoom stat, now I can still see my X and Y axis, but now it's going to show me all my points. And here is where I bring out trace. If you press trace on, your, um, on, on just your function, you can move it around across the line or the curve or whatever you make. But here... I can actually find all my points. So if I see x equals 2.3 and y equals 11, that's exactly what I was expecting. 4.2 and 16 and a half, I can see that here, and so on. But what I'm most interested in is, it looks like these five points are making a line and this one doesn't belong. So this point that doesn't belong is 8.2 and 24.3. Now, if I were to go back to this menu and delete 8.2 and delete 24.3, now all five of my, of my points look like they're on a much closer line. And it's this information that is going to lead me to say that the point that doesn't belong is choice D, 8.2 and 24.3. Now, there's one more thing I do want to go over. Cut out this part while I'm typing it in. So here's all my original data back in here, and I'm actually going to try to figure out using some number and using some um, actual calculator commands and something more precise how well my data fits the model before and after I take out that point, just so I can have some numerical confirmation. Now the calculators can do a special function or a special thing where they find something called R. In order to do that, I need to go to catalog. So I press second and down here where it says catalog, I type that in. This is what my screen will look like. And now I can either keep going down or I can type in the letter D 
which is in green here above x to the negative 1. Mm, accidentally type that. Go back to catalog, go back to D. Okay. Here's what I want. Diagnostic on. I click this, press enter, and it says done. And now I can go back to stat, go to my calc menu, and find this command here that says linear regression AX plus B. I press enter on that, it gets me back to the main screen, press enter one more time, and these two numbers, A and B, are just what would make up the line of best fit function, but R squared and R are what I'm really interested in, because these are going to tell me how strong is my linear model. And anything really close to 1 or negative 1 tells me that it's very, very, very strong, but we are still testing to see if taking out the 8.2 and 24.3 point would make it stronger. So I take that out, go back to stat, calc, linear regression again. Okay, now my R is very, extremely, almost infinitesimally close to one. This has become much stronger since I took out that point. So that's how to do a couple of these um, linear regression things in the calculator. Um, make sure to remember to turn diagnostic on because if they reset your calculator before you take your test, you're not going to have that even if it was on before. So make sure to do that so you can use um, the linear regression uh, command and find R to test how strong your linear model is.